Good to see you again. Glad we didn't frighten you off. The last short in our 2025 film festive is a short film by Alex Phillips entitled Le Vesele, or Dishes, which for simplicity's sake I'm just going to call it that. Dishes premiered a campus movie fest in 2018, where it was awarded as a campus finalist. Make sure you stick around for a word from director Alex Phillips after the show. And before you leave, I just wanted to say thank you. Like every organization, WVU Film Club had to put a lot on hold this year. It's through the diligence of creators like the ones we've showed over the past week that we hope you can find some semblance of inspiration. Thanks for watching tonight. Without further ado, our final film, Dishes.
Hi, I'm Alex Phillips, and I'm the director of The Short Dishes. Uh, this little movie was my first adventure into making a movie, and it was an entrant for the Campus Movie Fest, which means that the short had to be filmed and edited under a week, and it had to be under five minutes long. And as a general fan of cinema with no educational background in the matter, I thought it would be a fun way to sort of make a very fun trial-by-fire project for myself. Um, <clears throat> there was a lot of pre-production and sort of storyboarding in a way, uh, just on a basic Google Words doc that uh, came from things that I had learned from just watching YouTube videos and watching movies throughout my entire life. Uh, but after doing that, I thought that it would be an easy sort of task. Then once the day of shooting came uh, and the following post-production, I learned so much more about the filmmaking process that I never would have gotten without that opportunity. And I think just making something can teach you a lot more about the filmmaking process, uh, even if it's just making a dumb video with your friends. But to the point, Dishes was, the, was an idea that had been in my head from around 2015, and the subsequent filming of Dishes came in 2017. Uh, when the idea came, I knew two things about this movie. First, it was going to have zero dialogue. I'm absolutely terrible when it comes to writing dialogue. And then secondly, I wanted to capture that feeling of living with roommates, where no matter how hard you tried, uh, Dishes still remained. So. For the first point, I was pretty confident. Uh, as mentioned earlier about the YouTube videos, I knew a lot about visual storytelling. And I knew that I could make it work without using any dialogue. I knew I could make it fun. But the second point, uh, I ran into the problem uh, knowing that the basic college student problems sort of trope and theme is incredibly overdone, almost to the point of exhaustion. So it, I was then faced with a problem. And rather than ditching the idea completely, I figured it would be more fun and more effective to just sort of lean into the over-dramatization of it, right? So I kind of was able to work this in a way, and starting from the very beginning, right? I, I gave the movie that has zero dialogue a French name. Uh, it was a fun way to sort of address tropes that you see and see if you can flip it on its head and reach a point uh, to drive even further home that these tropes are sort of exhausted and challenging what they are, but also making a very fun product out of the entire thing. So I think that it, it still works and there's a way that you can watch it and just sit down and enjoy this little five minute short that's fun and it's dumb and it's hilarious, but it, there's, a, there's a level of un understanding and addressing those tropes that have been super overdone throughout the years. And it's a fun little exercise. And I and the three friends that worked on Dishes think that this thing is very engaging and fun, and I hope that you do too. Um, enjoy my short film that was a Campus Movie Fest winner, Dishes. Levez-Sell.